Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This is my channel all about crochet and knitting and my journey to become a garment designer. Um, if you are a returning viewer, hi tribe, welcome back. It's so lovely to see you all. We are almost 600 strong now. And if you are brand new, hi, hello, and welcome, and thank you for spending this time with us. Um, I'm sat a bit lower down than usual. I just, I usually sit on a chair cross legs, so I just decided to sit on the floor. A um, little bit ugly with the radiator behind me, but I'm comfy. Um, today is slightly different. Um, this is a bonus vlog, so this will be coming out on a Wednesday. Um, if you are brand new, then my usual setup is to show you um, what I'm working on and my projects. And if you go back through to my channel, you can look at my crochet or knitting playlist and watch to your heart's content. Today is a little yarn um, unboxing, unbagging. I have some stash enhancement to show you. Um, let me show you the bag. This bag of yarn arrived earlier in the week and I've kept hold of it so that I could do an unboxing for you, an unbagging. It does mean there's gonna be some rustling, sorry about that. Um, so I approached Rito Yarn and Hobby and asked them if they'd be willing to send me some yarn so I could work on one of my designs that I've got in mind. And they have been amazingly accommodating, ac amazingly accommodating, and have sent me a bag of yarn. Um, and so I have agreed that I will review the yarn and be honest about it and show you guys. So a little bit about Rito. They are based in Denmark. Um, and one of the things that really appeals to me about them is they have yarn that I can't or don't necessarily manage to get hold of here in the UK. They've got a lot of European yarns, which means a lot more yarn to squish that I'm not used to. Um, they have all sorts on their website, so go check it out. I'll drop all the links below. Um, they've got hammer beads, which I used to use as a kid, and I would like to get a bag of to put in some knitting. Um, you've seen me knit with beads before. I think they would look really good because they'd be really consistent and I have seen other knitwear designers use them. Um, they've got loads of wool wash. Um, I don't have any specific wool soap for my hand knits or hand crocheted items. That's also something I'm definitely going to get myself some of. Um, I might put a little order in and just purchase some so that I can have a wash day. And they've got loads of accessories, loads of yarn, so go take a look and tell me what your favourites are and what you're interested in. They've got like loads of different textured yarns, fun yarns, um, like they've got metallic ones. There's absolutely loads of sock yarn, so I might revive my sock um, love and start knitting more socks. So yeah, there's just so much to choose from. So much so that when they said, yes, we're willing to work with you, what yarn would you like? I did say to them, you're gonna to have to give me some guidance because I'm not familiar with your brand and I know what I want. And so they were really, really good with that. And they sent me some suggestions and I have picked my selection. So shall we get it open? This is gonna be a lot of rustling. If it's really bad, then I'm gonna stop the video here and I'm gonna cut it out and then you'll see me with the yarn in my hands, okay? Oh my goodness. I've wanted to open this bag all week, but I was determined I'm gonna do it here whilst being recorded. Um, so I have been anticipating this all week. I did sneak a, a slight peek through the packaging just to look at the colour and it's amazing. So they have sent me Mayflower Easy Care Big. It's 100% wool, virgin wool, made in Italy. Oh my goodness, I love it. 
And did you know Italian is the other language that I started to learn? So this is amazing. Um, wow. 100% wool. It's so squishy. And I went for this olive colour. Um, my bathroom is like the bath mats, my towels are a brighter colour of this olive. I absolutely love this colour. And um, if any of you are on my Patreon, I did post to just put a picture up to say I had this bag of yarn waiting to be opened. And also today, Saturday, the 22nd of September, I posted um, on Patreon just to say that I'm really going for a lot more neutrals. Um, and this was one of the colours, olive was one of the colours on the picture on like... I put up a picture of all the different colours that really draw me in, all of like the, the solid neutrals, and olive was one of them. Oh wow, so I got this Mayflower, which is not a brand I'm familiar with, um, it's super, super washed, so it can go in the washing machine, 40 degree, light iron and a light tumble. Mm. Um, it recommends five, it says five on the needles. I don't know if they do five mil or if that's a size five, but I would say five mil. Um, made in Italy. Oh. And it's olive. And that is a pretty true reflection of the colour that I'm working with. Oh, where have we gone? There we go. <sighs> so... I have got all of this in here. Thank you so much, Rito. This is amazing. Now, in terms of design, I have a crochet jumper in mind. Sorry, knitters. Gotta learn to crochet. Um, there'll be some knitting patterns coming at some point, but this is going to be crocheted. I want to do a... I don't know why I just did that. I want to do a cropped jumper um, and I want it to have slightly belled out sleeves. It will be raglan, I think it's called raglan. Well, I won't be doing increases, so I will do the body and then I'm gonna do a slight, um, it will be quite tight fitting like this and then the rest will bell out ever so slightly. Um, don't really feel like I'm selling that to you but I've designed it I'm gonna do a swatch now I love this yarn I absolutely love it I love the color and I love the feel I've never worked with 100% wool before um, so that is also going to be intriguing and I'm just really looking forward to having another jumper in my winter wardrobe look at that color I think it looks really really good on my skin tone as well really really like it um so i'm gonna swatch for that um and also i will i will show you i will show you my swatch when it is done um in my next update that i do and yeah so what do you think what do you think to the color i'm really really pleased with it I was toying with, because I've got this colour, this yarn, sorry, in a lot of colours, and I was toying with the greys and the pink, but when I saw this olive, I just knew. It feels really squishy. Really squishy. Um, and it looks quite plump. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't smell woolly. You know when you get that, well here you get that, is it lanolin or something on it that smells quite woolly? It doesn't smell like that, but it's really squishy, especially as it's, it's come all the way from Denmark and it's been in the post. So yes. And then also in my little bag, they sent me some sweeties. <laughs> Loads of Rito sweeties. Thank you guys, that's really nice of you. I might give these out at Yarndale actually. So anybody that's coming to Yarndale, come and get your Rito Sweeties. Um, as well as the squares that I'm giving out. And they gave me a pack of cards. Which, let's get them open. 
can't get the cellophane off. Epic fail, struggling on camera. Well, can you see or is it too shiny? No, you can see. They say Rito, Garn and a Hobby. Oh. I don't want to rip the box. There we go. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. It can't open them. Let me get them open. There we go. Oh, excellent. So actually a pack of playing cards, which is great because my grandmother loves to play cards. So I've got a deck of cards and they've got their logo on the back. So I can go and play cards now with my grandma when I have crochet dates with her. Um, I know how to play Snap, I know how to play Poker, I know how to play Go Fish, 21, um, I'm sure she can teach me some others. So thank you Rito, because I'm going to use those when I'm with my grandma. So if you want any, um, well, if you see me at Yarndale, come say hello, because I've got sweeties to give out now as well. Um, I've got a whole bag of them here. And I'll be giving out my little squares for HGDC Patch of Happy. I'm going to be playing cards with my grandma. She'll love that. She's just had an operation. So she can't actually crochet or knit at the moment. So I could go see her and we can play cards. Thank you, Rito. And they've got their website on there, which I will have already put at the bottom. But it's www www.retohobby.co.uk is the one that I use in um, the UK. This one for um, if you're in Den Denmark is www.reto.dk. So click on over and have a look. Um, I really like those. There was quite a few other yarns on there. I've got the um, website open on my Mac that I was looking at. Um, they've got like Mayflower Luxurious Suck, which looks so, so nice. They've also got um, loads of different brands that I've never heard of that look really good. Mayflower do a ribbon yarn, which looks like fun to play with. So yeah, there's so much good stuff on here. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing with it all. If you head on over to their website, and let me know what you're interested in as well. We've got loads of the drops, um, the drops. We've got loads of the drops line as well. Um, and this is just their about this page. Mm -mm -mm. Um, founded in 2014, Rito is an online shop selling yarn and hobby products. Our office and warehouse has a base on. And I'm not even going to say that. Somewhere in Denmark. <laughs> Our working team consists of 20 full-time employees. And they were so, so helpful when it came to emailing me and giving me yarn suggestions. Um, and talking about their experiences with the yarn. So that's really, really useful. Because with an online shop, you don't get to go and squish. Um, but because I had their expertise, I found that really, really useful. Um, and then it says, on the side we have many skilled freelancers and young employees working for us at a daily basis. And many of our employees are passionate knitters and crocheters, which, again, that really shows and that's really, really useful. Um, and they've got so much yarn, guys. And not only that, like, they do um, the accessories, so they've got, like, knit and needle sets, hooks and all that sort of thing. Um, and the, the parcel got here really, really quickly as well. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. I can't wait to swatch with that. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I might just have to. I might just have to stop recording and just swatch now. <laughs> it's 
So I've got, um, these come in 50 gram balls and I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 600 grams of yarn, um, which might even end up being too much, but crochet is a bit yarn hungry, so I thought I would just get a little bit extra to be sure, um, as I couldn't swatch before I purchased it. Look, look at the squishy yarn. Thank you, retail. So I will let you guys know how I get on with the swatch in my next vlog. And I will see you again at the weekend for a more regular update. So see you then. Happy making.